Whenever we're doing an optimization problem, there's a series of steps that you're pretty much always going to go through. The first thing that you're going to have to do is find a function. And that's going to come down to what they're asking you to optimize. Are they telling you to find the maximum area? Then we're going to optimize area and we need an area function. Are they telling you to minimize cost? then we need to find a cost function. So finding the function is going to be the first thing we need to do. And then we're going to take the derivative of that function, take derivative, then we are going to set that derivative equal to zero, and solve it. And then we're going to figure out what to do with our answer. And that sounds a little bit vague but it will make sense when we're done with it. So figure out what to do with answer. What to do with answer. Anytime we're doing a geometric problem like this one, they're asking us about a rectangle. We're gonna draw a picture and label the picture as well as we need to to keep track of what we're doing. And we're also gonna write down what X is. So, or what the variable that we're differentiating is going to be. So, um, let's start by drawing a rectangular garden. So they're telling us that we've got a rectangular garden, so I'll draw a rectangle here. They're telling me that three sides have a brick wall. So I'm going to label this side brick, I'm going to label this side brick, and I'm going to label this side brick. So those are three brick walls. And then they're also telling us that there is a fence and so let me write that in a different color. So here is our fence. So what do we know about rectangles? Rectangles have sides and those sides, the ones that are opposite each other are going to be the same length. So let's say that those two are X's and these two are Y's. They're telling us that the brick wall cost $10 per foot. Um, so I'm going to put a 10 in front of each of these brick walls and they're telling us that the fencing costs five dollars per foot. So right now, let's see, dimensions of the garden, I have that x equals basically the length of one of the brick sides. Okay. All right. They're asking me to minimize the cost. So in that step one, finding a function, I need to find a cost function. I'm going to write it right down here. So the cost of making my fence is just going to be adding up the cost of all of the sides. So I have a 10x side, I've got a 10y side, got another 10x side, and then I've got a 5y side. And if I simplify that, I'm going to get 20x plus 15y. And that's going to give me the cost of making this, this fence. If I can find out what x is, I can get the cost. Um, but we have a situation here where I know my second step is going to be to take a derivative, but I can't take a derivative if I've got a y inside of my function. So we need to figure out what y equals. So I'm going to go back and look at what they gave us in this problem, and they told us that the area is 300 square feet. And so, let's see, area, we know that that's the length times the width, so area is x times y, and they're telling us that it equals 300 square feet. So x times y equals 300. That means y equals 300 over x, but since I need this to take a derivative, I'm actually going to rewrite it as 300x to the negative 1. Now that I've got that, I can plug it in. I can take this 300x to the negative 1 and plug it in for y. So I get 20x plus 15, and now instead of y, I'll put 300x to the negative 1. And let's go ahead and multiply that out. So we have 20x plus 4,500x to the negative 1. And you can do that in your calculator. You'll get the, the correct answer there. So now 
I've finished step one. I've found my function. This is my cost function. I'm going to relabel it here so that I don't forget about it. So next one is to take a derivative. So let's take the derivative of this. C prime of x is going to be 20 minus 4500 x to the negative 2. And that's just using the power rule for derivatives. Okay, so that was step two. Let me actually label these. That was step one. This is step two. And now for step three, I'm going to set that equal to zero and solve. So 20 minus, oops, 45, 4500 x to the negative two equals zero. I don't like that negative exponent. And you might have different ways of taking care of it, but the way that I'm going to take care of this negative exponent is I am going to multiply both sides of this equation. Oops. Multiply both sides of this equation by x squared. Okay. And when I do that, I'm going to get 20x squared. And this x squared times that x to the negative 2, that's just going to turn into 1. x squared times x to the negative 2 is just 1. So in essence, I make that negative exponent go away. And then 0 times x squared is 0. And so now I can solve. I have 20x squared, and that's going to equal 4,500. So x squared, and I'll type that into the calculator. We're just going to do 4,500 divided by 20. That's going to give me 225. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So square root of x squared, square root of 225, square root of 225 is 15. So I get x equals technically positive and negative 15. But we don't have to worry about that negative 15. If you're using my math lab, it might tell you to do a second derivative test here to see whether or not what you're looking for is what you got. But at the end of the day, I can have a positive 15 side length or a negative 15 side length. And I've never seen a fence that was negative 15 anything long. And so we can just go ahead and get rid of that and know that x equals 15. Okay. So I've got x. Step four is figure out what to do with x. Okay, well x is, according to what I wrote down here, x is the length of one of the brick sides. So it says to minimize the cost, length of the side with the fence should be blank, and the length of the other side should be blank. Okay, well the brick side, so that's 15, we just found that out. So now we need to figure out what the y side is, because the y side was my fence size but I have a formula here for that, so I can do it. We know that x equals 15, so y equals 300 divided by x, but x is 15, and so that ends up being 20. And that is our correct answer there. Now I know you're going to see that we ended up with a 20 and a 15 here, and you're going to assume that you might be able to just pull those answers out at this point, but you cannot. It's not always going to work out that way, so you actually have to do the problem or else you're going to run into a little bit of trouble. So let's go through that again um, because it ended up being, being in kind of a, a weird order once you look at it on the page. So we drew our picture. I knew that I had three brick sides and one fence side. I labeled my picture with the cost of the side. So however many feet it was, it was going to be $10 per foot for the x side, $10 per foot for this y side, $10 per foot for this x side, and because the fences were only $5, it's going to be $5 per foot for this y side. The problem asked me to minimize cost, so I needed a cost function. The cost of making this fence is adding up all of the sides together, when I simplified that, I got 20x plus 15y. I knew that step two was going to be to take a derivative, but since I can't take that derivative with the y here, I needed to find a way to rewrite y so that it was an x instead. So I looked back at my problem. It said that the area was 300 square feet. I know that area is x times y, so x times y equals 300, and that let me rewrite y is 300x to the negative 1. 
Once I had that, I was able to simplify it, take the derivative, set the derivative equal to zero, and solve. And again, that was a little bit of tricky algebra in there, but nothing, nothing too bad. If you practice that a couple times, it'll be easy enough. And that told me that x equaled 15. So for my last step, figure out to do with what to do with my answer, I had to figure out what to do with that 15. Well, x was the length of one of the brick sides, so the brick side was 15 feet. And then I needed to know what my fence length was. Fence was a y side, and I already had written down a formula, y equals 300 divided by x. 300 divided by 15 is 20, and that gave me the length of the other side.